it's interesting that the theme of trees goes all the way back to my very earliest exhibition, which was at the Corcoran Gallery of Art in Washington in 1974. I would often walk in a wonderful garden called Dumbart Gardens in Washington, D.C., which was almost empty all the time. And it became a sanctuary and place where I could write my journal and take lots of self-portraits. And as it turned out, lots of trees. And that's why the tree series was the very first show I had. So this, throughout my whole career, which is now over 50 years, I intermingled people in nature. People often ask how I find my projects. The truth is they actually just swim into my mind and consciousness when the moment's right. When I moved to Maine in 2009, I was anxious to move on, but didn't want to force myself. And then one morning I was watching the harbor and all of a sudden this huge fog just rolled in and it completely made a backdrop just like the backgrounds I had painted in New York City. I just had this amazing sense that this was going to be my next series. And since I'm an early riser, I would see that fog coming. And after I had exhausted everything around my own studio, I would jump in the car to find other locations, all within a 20 mile um, area. I had recently gone on a trip to Peru and I was so inspired by the ink and use of gold to pay homage to the divine and commune with the spiritual realms. Since this trip, I decided I was going to teach myself how to do gold leaf. This tree series really took flight when I brought the gold together with the photographs and the resulting mixed media work blends materials I truly love. Gold leaf from the ancient world and film from the high tech present.